welcome to a tutorial on how to make these winter outfits in GTA Online. These outfits do not require the transfer glitch which means you get to keep all of your saved outfits. Please be sure to read the pinned comment for any additional information, but with all of that said, we are now ready to get on to the tutorial. Okay, so to do outfit 1, we're going to start off in a clothing store and go over to the outfit section. From here we're going to go down to the bottom of the list and go into the Kayoprico Heist category. Then I'm going to go into Grassland Armor and purchase the outfit called the Coordinator. With the outfit equipped, we're going to open up the interaction menu, go into style and accessories and we're going to remove the hat. We now need to go back into the outfit section, go into edit saved outfits, I'm going to save this one into slot 1 and call it merge. After saving the outfit, we're then going to go back into the outfit section once again, but this time we're going to go into the heist coveralls category. We now need to purchase any of the 4 from the bottom of the list that have the chemical mask, it doesn't matter which one it is. That is pretty much everything we need from the clothing store at the moment, so we're now going to go and head down to the telescopes at Del Perro Pier. At this point, we need to sprint towards the telescope at an angle and press right on the d-pad as soon as we get near it. The mask will then disappear and you should just stand there. Next, we're going to open up the interaction menu, go into style, and we're going to equip the outfit called Merge that we just saved. The mask will then reappear when we walk away from the telescope, and now we need to head down to the nearest ammunition. When we arrive, we're going to go and head over to the top section, and we're going to go and make sure that we resave this into the outfit slot called Merge that we made earlier. We now need to open up the interaction menu, go into style, and we're going to equip a random saved outfit. We then need to switch back to the outfit that we just saved called Merge. If the chemical mask doesn't show up the first time, just equip the outfit again and it should show up the second time. We also need to make sure that our spawn location is set to last location. Okay, so we're now ready to move on and to do that, we're going to press start, go to online, jobs, play job, rockstar created, go down to missions and start up the first one called a titan of a job. We then need to confirm the settings and press play. You don't need anyone else since this is a solo job. You should then either spawn inside or outside of the ammunition wearing a chemical mask and no plate carrier. However, if you're wearing a scruffy balaclava and a plate carrier, then what you need to do is completely restart your GTA and then go back to the point a few seconds ago where we switched outfits. But if everything did work fine for you, like it has for me, then what we need to do now is go into the top section and resave this into the outfit slot called Merge. After saving the outfit once again, we're going to back out of there, bring up the phone and quit the job. This will put us into an online session and we're going to go over to a clothing store. At this point, we're going to start browsing the top section and go into the designer hoodies category. It's entirely up to you which colour you pick, but I'm personally going to go for the light grey pullover hoodie. You should also notice that the pouches are staying on the top even though we're changing it, which is something you normally can't do. Please note that this does not work with the black casino heist pouches, it has to be the Cayo Perico ones. Moving on, we're now going to go into the pants section, go into arena wall pants, and you can either pick the white chain pants or the grey camo chain pants. Next we're going to back out of the pants section and head over to shoes. From here we're going to go into the running shoes category and you can pick whichever ones you want, but I'm going to recommend the grey scale retro runners. We then need to go over to the accessory section and go into gloves. For this outfit, we're going to be using the Ash Armoured to match the hoodie. Once again, that is pretty much everything we need from the clothing store, so we're now going to head down to the mask store instead. At this point, we're going to go into the mask section and go into the ski mask category. We're now going to scroll through the list until we get down to the Ash Spec Ski. After doing that, we're going to back out of there and head over to hats. From here we're going to go into combat helmets and you're free to go and pick whichever one you think works best, but I'm going to go for the brown dual lens. If the night vision is down, then just hold right on the d-pad to put them up. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to open up the interaction menu, go into inventory and body armor, and we're going to go and equip the super light armor. If you prefer, then you can use the standard armor instead. This is optional, but you can go into style and parachute and set it to on, and you can wear something like the grey combat shoot bag. However, if you're using the standard armor, then I recommend that you use the black combat shoot bag. Whichever one you decide to go for, we're then going to go back into the hat section and make sure that we save the outfit. You can also go ahead and delete the outfit called Merge as you no longer need that. Just before we move on to the next outfit, if you want a more low profile look, then you can go back into Masks and Diamond Casino Heist. From here you can then go ahead and buy the light grey neck gaiter which matches the hoodie. After doing that, you can then open up your interaction menu, go into style and set your hood to up. If you already have the armour equipped, then this will remove the armour, but you can then go back into inventory and body armour to re-equip it. If you wanted a bit more tan on the outfit to match the tan pouches, then you can go into Cap Sword and purchase something like the tan cap. Lastly, if you want to, you can then go over to the glasses section and freely equip a pair of glasses without having to do any further glitching. Personally, I would either recommend the black gun glasses or you can go into sports glasses to purchase the grayscale urban ski. Okay, so to move on to the second outfit, we're actually going to start off at the glasses section and go into the sports glasses category. We're going to make sure that we own the grayscale urban skis, but we're not going to have them equipped. We don't need those until after. 
In the accessory section, we're going to go into the gloves category and purchase the black armoured. As a side note, I recommend that you wear a t-shirt like I am for the next part. We now need to go into the scarf category and from here we're going to purchase the black desert scarf. This has to be equipped first before we move on to the next part. Again, not all tops are compatible with the scarf, which is why I recommend that you wear the t-shirt. In the top section, we're now going to go into the sweaters category and purchase the black combat sweater from the bottom of the list. If you're trying to make this on a female, then unfortunately you can't wear the scarf. Next, we're going to go into utility vests and we're going to make sure that we purchase the white camo plate carrier. As you can see, we now have this on with the scarf that you won't be able to do normally. In pants, we're going to go into arena wall pants and purchase the grey camo chain pants just like we did with the first outfit. You can use a different pair if you like, but I think these are the best option for winter outfits. In shoes, we're going to go into rubberized boots and purchase the grey camo trail to match the camo on the outfit. That is all we need to do in the clothing store, so we're now going to go and head down to the nearest ammunition. This part is completely optional, but since I know you guys like glitches, we're going to open up the interaction menu, go into inventory and body armor, and make sure that it says auto show armor is on. The blue bar in the bottom left under the map has to be empty, so if you're wearing any armor right now, go ahead and respawn. We're then going to go into the armor section and purchase the standard armor. When you back out, you'll then notice that the standard armor has glitched into the plate carrier, showing a bit of the velcro at the top. This will only work on tops that are compatible with both a plate carrier and the interaction menu vest. If you want to, you can also go ahead and buy a parachute from the top left of the weapon section. To equip it, open the interaction menu, go into style and parachute and make sure it's set to on, and for this outfit I recommend a black combat shoot bag. That is all we need to do in ammunition, so we're now going to leave and head down to the mask store once again. Now start browsing the mask section and go into the ski mask category, and from here we're going to purchase the skull tactical ski. If you prefer, then you can use a camo mask instead. In hats, we're going to go back into combat helmets and we're going to purchase the black dual lens. However, you can also use the quad lens or the advanced helmet instead. As I said previously, if your night vision is down, then just either hold right on the d-pad to put it up, or make sure that your helmet visor is set to up in your interaction menu. Okay, so we're now going to go and head back over to the telescopes at Del Peru Pier. At this point, we're going to sprint towards the telescope at an angle and press right on the d-pad as soon as you get near it. The mask and helmet should then disappear, and you should just stand there. Now open up your interaction menu, go into style and accessories and go down to glasses. Press left until you get to the grayscale urban skis, and when you walk away from the telescope, the mask and helmet will then reappear. You can then either go back down to an ammunition or a clothing store to save the outfit for the last time, as you are now done with it. So to move on to outfit 3, we're going to go back into the outfit section, go into Kai Perico Heist, and go into Grassland Armor to purchase the Naturalist, which is the first one on the list. Then just go ahead and repeat the glitch that we did at the start of the video, when we were wearing the coordinator outfit which had the tan pouches. You'll then end up with an outfit looking like this, and we're then going to go into the top section. From here we're going to go into the work jackets category and we're going to purchase the grayscale sweat box chore. Just like with the first outfit, you can see that the pouches have stayed on the front. Again, this only works with Kaio Perico pouches, so don't try this with the black diamond casino ones. Same as the first two, we're going to go ahead and purchase the grey camo chain pants from the arena wall pants category. Next, we're going to back out of there and go over to accessories to go into the gloves category. I recommend using the white armoured unless you want a bit more green on the outfit, in which case you can use the forest tact gloves which are nearer to the bottom of the list. Since I'll be adding more green to the outfit later on, I'm going to go with the forest ones. Whichever ones you decide to go for, we're now going to go and head over to the shoe section. In the boots category, I'm going to purchase the sage tactical boots. However, you can also go into the running shoes category and purchase the grayscale retro runners. The camo boots that we used for the second outfit also work pretty well. That is all we need from the clothing store, so we're now going to go back down to the mask store on this future beach and start browsing hats. We're going to go back into the combat helmets category and from here we're going to be purchasing the moss advanced. The quad or dual lens is also an option for this outfit. Next we're going to go into edit saved outfits and save this into an empty outfit slot. As you can see, I called this one winter 3. With the outfit saved, we're going to back out of hats and go over to masks. From here we're going to go into the tactical category and purchase the white camo night vision. This will remove the helmet but don't worry, we're now going to head over to the telescopes at Del Pier to get it back. Sprint towards the telescope at an angle and press right on the d-pad as soon as you get near it and the mask will disappear. Then just open up the interaction menu, go into style, and equip the outfit that we just saved called Winter 3. When you walk away from the telescope, the mask is then going to reappear under the helmet. We can now leave the pier and head down to an ammunition. When we arrive, we're going to go into the weapon section and purchase a parachute from the top left if you don't already have one. Then just open up the interaction menu, go into style and parachute, and set it to on. For this outfit, I recommend either the grey combat shoot bag or the forest combat shoot bag, depending on what look you're going for. Like I said, I wanted more green, so I'm going to go with the forest one. We then need to go into inventory and body armour, and we're going to equip the heavy armour. To finish up, we can then go back into the top section and save the outfit for the last time. Okay, so for the last outfit, we're going to go into the top section, go into tuck service shirts, and we're going to purchase the white service shirt tucked. 
Make sure it is the long sleeve, not the short sleeve. Also, if you're using a female character, then you'll have to use a different top as you won't be able to put the vest on this one. Speaking of vests, we're now going to go into the utility vest category and purchase the white camo plate carrier. I'm sure you already know what's going to happen, but we're now going to go into the pants section, arena wall pants, and we're going to purchase the grey camo chain pants. So since we're wearing a white shirt, it's best if we go to the accessory section, go into gloves and purchase the white armoured. To match the majority of the outfit, we're then going to go over to shoes, go into rubberized boots and purchase the grey camo trail. Of course, you can use a different pair of shoes if you wish, such as the running shoes that we have used on previous outfits. Anyway, that is the clothing store done for now, so we're going to go and head back down to the mask store. This time, we're going to go into the Diamond Casino Heist category and purchase the light grey net gaiter. The grey digital one is also an option. Since the camo doesn't exactly match though, I'm going to go for the white one and head over to hats. From here, we're going to go into the biker helmets category and purchase the black spiked from the bottom of the list. We then need to go and save this into an outfit slot, and as you can see, I'm going to call this one Winter 4. Now that we have that saved, we can go ahead and pick the hat that we want, so I'm going to go into berets and purchase the white camo garrison cap. We're now ready to move on to the next part, and for this you're going to need a car with a hard top roof and a motorbike. I recommend calling your own bike since they're much harder to find than a car. Okay, so to actually do this part, we first need to go ahead and open up our interaction menu. Next, go into style and go down to outfit and scroll along to the one that we just saved called Winter 4, but do not equip it. Instead, we're going to go up to where it says parachute and you're going to press the button to get into the car. Then go back down to outfit and equip it as soon as your character sits down and the hat disappears. This might take a few tries if you're new to it. Then go back up to parachute and exit the car. At this point, we're then going to press back and go into security serve and we're going to register as a CEO. Now reopen the interaction menu, go into secure serve CEO, management and style. This is where we need the motorbike, so we're going to head over to that. Now press left once to equip the outfit called recon leader. So we now need to get onto the bike and as we're getting on, we're going to press right once to set the outfit back to none. As you can see, we now have the mask and hat on together, which you can't normally do. Now just drive the bike down to a clothing store and head inside. Now this is completely optional, but you can go into the glasses section and purchase whichever ones you want. I prefer the black gun glasses, but again, you can pick whichever ones you prefer. There is one problem that you're going to face with this outfit and I'm going to show you now, but first we're going to go ahead and save the outfit. So you may notice that if you decide to switch outfits and then switch back, the mask will not reappear. Don't worry though, it is very easy to fix and all you need is a car or a motorbike. Simply just scroll to the outfit in your interaction menu and go up to where it says parachute. Then just get either into a car or onto a bike and equip the outfit as you're getting in or on. But that is pretty much it, so thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Of course, have a nice Christmas if you celebrate it and I'll see you in the next one.